me, Talia Arisa Gibson. You can call me Tag for short, and welcome to my channel. <laughs> Like, comment, subscribe. Today I have a collab. Yes, a collab. This collab is with Eaton with Jay. The collab is the PMP, Pimp My Potato Collab. Yes, and we would like for you all to join into this collaboration with us. So grab a potato and pimp it out. <laughs> yes, so here are the rules. You must have a baked potato. You could do a regular potato. You could do a sweet potato. And then you must have at least four toppings. Yes, four. Now, butter, salt, and pepper do not count as toppings. Did you hear me? Butter, salt, and pepper do not count as as toppings so you must have four toppings so on my potato i'll show you a little clip of what i put on it all right guys so you can see me building my potato here i have the potato and so my first topping is some cheese my second topping will be some chicken so we're gonna make a broccoli cheese and chicken uh potato so I have my chicken, and then I'm gonna add some broccoli. So I have my broccoli. I'm gonna get some cheese on the broccoli too. Now I have some more cheese. So that's still only three toppings though because I have the, the butter doesn't count. So it's cheese, chicken, and broccoli. And the last thing I'm gonna add, so I'm just sauteing some shredded carrots with some olive oil and a little seasoning. So I melted the cheese. So I have the cheese, chicken, broccoli, and now I have the sauteed carrots. Got a little char on them, which is good. All right, guys, so yes, I have cheese, chicken, broccoli, and then I have some sauteed shredded carrot on top. So those are my four toppings. You must also have a side salad of your choice. So this side salad is a mixed green salad. It also has a little cranberry, some roasted pecan, and a pomegranate dressing, and apple. So you can have that salad, whatever size you want. So it's up to you but those are the rules and you must drink water with your meal so i have a tall glass of water here in my cup so water only so you don't have to time yourself you don't have to um, eat it all if you can't eat it all but we want you to join into this and pimp out your potato yes so be sure that you check out Eating with Jay's channel. He's on his road to 100 subscribers. So let's help him out and get him there. You know what? And he might even be there by the time this video comes out so we can help him get to the 200. So. Also, I almost forgot. The last rule is that you must tag two people in this collaboration. So who will it be? I'll tell you who I'm tagging in a moment. I'm going to say a prayer and we can get started. Dear God, thank you for this food that I'm about to eat. Thank you for this day. I ask that you be with my viewers, keep them happy, healthy, and safe. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen. <laughs> All right, guys, so I'm gonna get into this potato because it looks really good. And 
yep so i decided to go for a broccoli and cheese potato the chicken and then i was like i need a fourth topping so i decided to do some shredded carrots Yum, yum. See some of that broccoli in there. A bite for you. Mm, mm, mm. So, Eating with Jay reached out to me through Instagram. So Eaton with Jay contacted me um, through Instagram and had an idea for a challenge. So this for a um, collab or challenge. And so yeah. This was all his idea. You can put whatever you want on your potato. Barbecue. Whatever you want. Mm. I don't eat baked potatoes often, so that is really good. Let's try the salad out. like apple in your salad my dad always put apple in a salad I think he still does that <laughs> and then he used to love um French dressing, like that orange dressing. <laughs> My favorite dressing is really um, balsamic. Mm -mm -mm. So how are you guys doing? I hope you're doing well. I hope you've had a great, great, great day. This is a little bit later of a video for me, but I wanted to go ahead and premiere it. So here we are. <laughs> So yeah, I look forward to seeing your pimped out potatoes. You don't have to be tagged in order to do it. Shout out to Eatin' With Jay for getting started on his channel. Like I said, he's almost to 100. He may already be there. And so, be sure to check out his channel. And if you feel so inclined, subscribe. And actively subscribe even if you can't watch videos all the time, just 
you know, try to go and watch when you can and leave a comment and like and share out when you can. I know it can be daunting trying to um, watch everybody's videos and you're, especially if you're a content creator yourself and you don't want to stress yourself out, but just when you can, Yep, it's kind of the thought, you know? I'm gonna get into this other side. Some more of those veggies and stuff. Yum. Mm -mm -mm. What do you guys like to put on your baked potatoes? So guys, I'm getting closer and closer to 1K. I appreciate all of you who have subscribed and shared me out. I can't wait to get there. It's going to be awesome. And I will say to all of the content creators who are starting off, the new ones, if you are really um, wanting to do this and it's something that you enjoy, for whatever reason you decided to do YouTube, hold on to that. Like you might even need to write it down and put it on a sticky note somewhere where you'll see it often, just to remind yourself of why you started YouTube so that you don't give up because if it's something that you really want to do, if you're not growing as fast as others or if things aren't happening as quickly for you, it's okay. Everything in due time. But if you give up, you'll never know what could have been. One of my favorite quote, um, quotes is by Wayne Gretzky. And um, anytime I send a, a work email, I already have it tagged under my name. The quote just stays there. The quote is, you miss 100% of the shots you never take. I'll say it again. You miss 100% of the shots you never take. You don't shoot it you already missed it if you shoot it you have a chance of it going in so if you keep going you have a chance to be successful and for things to work out for you you can't forget why you started I've been listening to a lot of motivational speaking the last year and um, it's become kind of like something that I crave to listen to, just the positivity, the motivation. And one of my favorites, he's a vet, is Les Brown. If you've never heard of Les Brown or if you've never listened to any of his motivational speeches, go on YouTube and search for Les Brown. He did a speech in the Georgia Dome and I believe it's titled, It's Not Over Until I Win. Find it and listen to the whole thing. I think the whole thing might be less than 40 minutes, like 35 to 40 minutes. So definitely check it out. And that was when he was younger and he's now in his 70s. Late 70s. But Last year, I listened to almost all the speeches that he has on his YouTube channel.
there's um a lot of people who reshare his speeches on YouTube, but I went to, directly to his channel to kind of see the videos that he posted of all his speeches. And he also includes like videos that he's done recently just through YouTube. But you gotta go and listen to the earlier ones because you'll learn his story. But I say that because you gotta put positive words in your ear. And in your eyesight. If you allow negativity or negative thoughts to just overpower you, you're just gonna be in a negative space and who wants to do that? <laughs> Not me. Like, who wants to live in that misery? Not me. <laughs> You have to find ways to keep yourself motivated. Instead of watching the news in the morning before I get ready for work, um, as I'm getting ready for work, I started playing motivational speeches and I would just listen to them while I'm getting dressed and while I'm getting ready and just pump my mind with that. And then on the way to work, continue listening to the speeches. And it just really helped put me in a better mindset And I have some news to share with you guys, but I'm not going to share it in this video. <laughs> I could eat the skin because the skin is good for you, but I'm not feeling the skin today. After eating that sweet potato, <laughs> that skin was horrible. I don't like it. It's too thick. I don't think it was meant for consumption. This was good. Who are some of your favorite motivational speakers? Let me know in the comment section down below. Maybe I'll go check them out. You know, and who knows, maybe one day I'll be one myself. <laughs> but anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning into this video. Be sure to go and check out Eaten with Jay. I am tagging Mardi Gras mukbang. You've been challenged. And also, I'm challenging Steph DIY Queen. You have been challenged too. I look forward to seeing your pimped out potatoes. Pimp My Potato is on and in full force. <laughs> anyway, again, thank you so much for tuning into this video. As always, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you'll know when I post. Until next time, bye! Like, comment, subscribe.